Welcome to Update News. Online. Mayor James Baker has announced that the city has accepted a proposal for the future of the Delaware Historical Society to establish a heritage center for African American history in downtown Wilmington. It is a decision that has been 15 years in the making and it is not without its share of controversy. Speakers at a recent meeting of the Wilmington City Council voiced their displeasure with the decision. You have a fiduciary responsibility when it comes to overseeing uh, funds of this magnitude to ensure that the, the organization that's entrusted with the responsibility has all that it takes to do it successfully. So I'm asking you to have public hearings so that you, first of all, can know which organizations plan to do what. That means the Historical Society of Delaware and our group should appear before you and before the public. And the, you should have the right to question. The public should have the right to question. This should not be done on the basis of a selection committee comprised only of the mayor's staff to make a decision only by the mayor. A center for presenting and preserving the culture and heritage of African Americans was first proposed in 1996 by current state representative Stephanie T. Bolden, who was a member of the Wilmington City Council at the time, and Baker, who was then serving as city council president. A building on the corner of 11th Street and Clifford Brown Walk, which once housed Allied Kid Leather Company, was expected to be used to house the museum. The building was a donation by the former credit card giant MBNA. In November of last year, the Afro-American Historical Society of Delaware and the Delaware Historical Society submitted proposals for evaluation by a committee made up of city employees. Their recommendation was to accept the bid made by the Delaware Historical Society, and the mayor approved the recommendation in January. The DHS will receive $1 million to open the Heritage Museum in the current Delaware History Center at 504 North Market Street and in Old Town Hall, which sits next door. The money comes from a bond created especially for this purpose in 2004. Before opening the center, the Delaware Historical Society needs to raise an estimated additional $2.5 million to fund the project. While much of the dispute is focused on whether DHS, which has a predominantly white staff, can accurately convey the struggles and heritage of African Americans, the mayor is confident the two sides can come together to make a dream into a reality, saying, we have had enough debate, enough arguing, and enough delay on this important project. It is past time that we move forward and establish a heritage center so that people of all ethnic backgrounds can learn more about Wilmington's history and about the African Americans who were and are part of the fabric of our city. This is Update News.